Audio recording for this meeting has begun. All right. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer, and today we'll be looking at the Organized Pages tool within Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So let's open it up. And so we're just using the, the, the document that we created using the Combined Files tool. We're using that from last time, from the last video. But if we were not, Let me just get this saved first. If we were not using it, then we have the option to just select any file. So let's reopen that. So once we have our file, the rest of the tools at the very top of the screen become available. And to use these tools, we have to select our page range. So we have to determine where, what tools, like what page range is going to be affected by these tools. So enter page range so we can have we can edit the even pages, the odd pages, landscape, portrait, or all of them, really. So even pages, odd pages, landscape, just as you would expect. And so now that we have our selection, so let's go with odd pages. Now that we have our selection, we can rotate it. And then we can also delete all the odd pages which I don't want to do right now. We can extract them, so we can make them into a separate PDF. So we can delete these pages after we extract, or we can extract the pages as separate individual files. And then we can insert a file. Look it right in there. So we just insert that in. And then we can insert it from the usual suspects of options, from the scanner, from the web page, from the blank page. We can replace, let's replace this. We can replace with another document. Now, a couple of notes. So the replace tool only replace the number of pages that is equal to the length of the document or the length of the selection, whichever is shorter. So if we want to replace this one page with a multiple page document, we'll only be able to replace one, we'll only be replace the page with a single page from that document. So let's check that out. Let's see that in action. So right now we're replacing just one page, and this Meridian document is multiple pages long. And that's it. We just replaced that image with the first page of the Meridian document. Similarly, if we try to replace every one of these pages with a shorter document, it'll only replace up to the length of that document we're replacing with. So. So only the first page, because the thing that we're using to replace is only one page long, only the first page of our document was replaced. So it wasn't just that every single one of these pages was deleted in place of this first page. Okay. Now we can split up a document by various criteria. So let's go by this so we can split by the number of pages. So each of the pages would be, each of the PDFs resulting from this would be two pages long. We can split by file size. So each PDF would be, would have a maximum size of two. We can split by the top level bookmark. So this would be useful if you had like a textbook, let's say. If you had a textbook with bookmarks for table of contents, preface, intro, and then the chapters, and then the appendix, then that would yield five PDFs. So one for the contents, one for the preface, intro, chapters, and appendix. Finally, under more, we have Bates numbering. So this is, this is an uh, alphanumeric code that's used by legal professionals to identify documents and pages. So we're just going to add this in. This manifests itself as a header and a footer. So, and also note that I have the odd pages. So the Bates numbering would only be added to those pages. So we're just going to add it as a footer, a right footer. Insert the Bates number. So we can just do Perfect, and that's how it's going to look once we apply it. And so we've applied it. So at the very bottom right-hand corner, there it is.
and there it is. Okay, so from there, there's some more options we can use. Go back to it. We can go into more. We can set page boxes, which essentially allows us to crop pages. So we can go to page transition. So these can be viewed. So if we set one, if we set a transition, let's set it over here. No. So we can set a transition for our first one. And then we can view it if we go into view and then the full screen mode. Oh. Let's close this out. There we go. There it is. And there's our transition. Just like that. And a couple more things left. We can print our pages, the selected pages. We can add labels to our pages. So again, with the textbook example, if we had if we had some pages of co like a table of contents, we wanted to number them at the first eleven pages as you know Roman numerals, so I through XI, and this would let us. And then all subsequent pages would be would start at a, at one. Mm -hmm. And then page properties. So various options over here. So tab order, so you can do it by column, row, document, unspecified. You can set an action for when the page, for whenever a page opens or closes. So you can have it do a multiple multitude of things that we'll be talking about in later videos. But for now, we're not going to get into that. So yeah, that's all there is to it for the organized pages tool. So thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Next time we'll be taking a look at the edit PDF tool. And that's a pretty hefty tool, so that's probably going to be split up into two parts. Until then, take care, everybody, and I'll see you later.